We, the women of the Indigenous peoples of the world, have struggled actively to defend our rights to self-determination and our territories that have been invaded and colonised by powerful nations and interests. We still retain our ethical and aesthetic values, the knowledge and philosophy and the spirituality that conserves and nurtures Mother Earth. The International Indigenous Women's Forum, FEMI, is a global network of Indigenous women that link together local, national and regional organisations from Asia, Africa, the Americas and the Pacific. FEMI's mission is to bring together Indigenous women leaders and human rights activists from different parts of the world to coordinate agendas, capacity build and to develop leadership roles. FEMI encourages Indigenous women's participation in international decision-making processes by ensuring the consistent and serious inclusion of Indigenous women's perspectives in all discussions regarding human rights. FEMI, through its Capacity Building Programme, is developing the Global Leadership School of Indigenous Women. Implementing a programme on human rights and international advocacy skills aimed at Indigenous women activists and leaders from various regions of the world. The programme seeks to improve their knowledge about international instruments on human rights, Indigenous peoples' rights and Indigenous women's rights, as well as the development and implementation of an advocacy plan at local, regional and international level. The selection process of participants is through the Academic Advisory Council which is composed of women with significant experience in capacity building processes and advocacy skills. The program is organised in three phases. A training process started through a virtual platform in February, where each week FEMI prepare readings and tasks. Each participant takes turn to speak through a forum. Everyone writes an advocacy plan looking at issues in education, violence against women, resource extraction, indigenous rights, youth, identity and culture, food sovereignty, among many others. The second phase of the program is for two weeks. Participants attend intensive classes at the United Nations and Columbia University in New York City. They attend training on politics, leadership and women's issues. They learn advocacy and negotiation techniques, technologies for activism, and some tips and advice on fundraising. They learn about the United Nations and terrorism, human rights and international law, the International Criminal Court and its relevance for Indigenous peoples, ethics and compliance, and Indigenous film as a part of advocacy. Indigenous women leaders attend the 12th session of the Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues and the Global Indigenous Women's Caucus. The most recent class we're fortunate to meet with Professor James Anaya, Special Rapporteur on the Rights of Indigenous Issues. They met with representatives of the MDG Fund and officials from the Convention on Biological Diversity, as well as the director of the UNFPA. Participants talk about Indigenous women and their priorities within their regions. During the permanent forum, the Global School prepared a side event to share experiences and lessons learned from their involvement in the Global School. They reflect on the process of leadership strengthening and their strategies for social change. Yeah.
Finally, the Global School of Leadership organised a ceremony for the delivery of the FEMI Leadership Awards 2013. These were given to two important leaders, Myrna Cunningham from Latin America and Imfa Felene Mika Ulule from Africa. Indigenous knowledge system is a way of life. The water from the spring has to be there, coming from the soil where the, all the reptiles, everything, snakes, should be there. That water is a sacred water. We women, indigenous women, we are the custodians of the sacredness of the earth, sacredness of the well-being. The students have returned to their countries with their experiences, strengthened as leaders and with the skills to implement their advocacy plans. The leadership course does not end there. The students will continue to participate in an online monitoring process until August 2013. Jumbo, jumbo.